Hey guys! I'm here at a small farm in Janesville, Wisconsin, and why I'm here is related to an old legend from a long time ago. According to this legend, there was a famine and a great Lakota chief sent out two of his scouts to go and hunt for food. During this search, they saw a figure in the distance. As they approached the figure, they saw it was a beautiful woman. One of the men, ignoring the warning from the other scout, approached the woman and they were circled in this big cloud of dust. When the dust cleared, all that was left of the man was a pile of bones. The second man, clearly terrified, slowly approached and the woman explained that she was a wakan or holy person. She told the scout to go back to and tell his people that she had arrived. When she came, she brought a white buffalo calf pipe, which is the most sacred object a person can possess, and taught the people of the tribe seven sacred ways to pray. She said she would return someday to restore harmony to the world. Then she rolled on the ground four times, changing colors with each roll, turned into a white buffalo calf, and then disappeared. After that, large herds of buffalo surrounded the camps of the tribe and the famine was over. According to this legend, when a white buffalo calf is born, it is a sign that the prayers are being heard and the promises of the prophecy are being fulfilled. Another version of the story has the woman appearing to children working in a field saying that she would return in 600 years to bring world peace. So all that takes us, sorry, these flies are biting me. Okay, so all that takes us here to, I think I'm pronouncing this right, I don't know, the heater farm. On August 20th of 1994, there was indeed a white buffalo calf named Miracle that was born on this farm here in Janesville, Wisconsin. She is believed to be the first white buffalo calf born since 1933. And there is a distinction between the very rare white buffalo and an albino buffalo. So this was a true white buffalo calf, which is very, very rare. Native Americans took this as a sign that the legend was being fulfilled and a sign that the Great Spirit wanted to bring hope and peace to all nations and all people. Hundreds and hundreds of people came to see Miracle when she was born, and I was lucky enough to have been one of them as a child. While she was alive, Miracle did in fact fulfill part of the prophecy, changing a couple different colors over the course of her life, including red, yellow, and brown. She did seem to be lightening up again as the prophecy said she eventually would, but unfortunately and very tragically, she died before we could find out if she would return to white. During her life, the family got a lot of attention and Miracle had many visitors from across the world and there was at one time a small museum on the property, but visitors have definitely died down a lot since her death. The farm did have two other rare white buffalo that were born since Miracle, one in 1996 who only lived a matter of days or weeks, and another born in 2006 named Miracle Second Chance. However, the legend states that the white buffalo would be a female and Miracle Second Chance is a male. Now, this farm is no longer in the business of buffaloes. I think the owners have retired. It's not somewhere you can really visit. I just wanted to give a quick glimpse of it um, and respect their privacy. I'm not gonna show the house numbers or anything like that, but I wanted to give you guys a little view of what was something that, according to legend, had a big impact on you know this prophecy and if there's anything to it, I don't know. Now, although it's extremely rare, there was a white buffalo calf born in Minnesota in 2014, but it only lived for two weeks. And then in 2020, another rare white buffalo calf was born in Montana. They say it is about one in one million buffalo calves that are born white. And 2020 is the right year for uh, good things to happen, I think. So, who knows? It's a really interesting legend to me. I love the story, I love that I got to visit when I was a child and it's something that stuck in my mind so I thought I'd come tell this story. It's a rare occurrence and it's a cool story but is there more to it? Do you think Miracle really was fulfilling a legend from hundreds of years before?